एस एस सी आर्ट्स प्रेजेंट टूडे वी आर गोल्ड सी हाउ टू मेक दिस ब्यूटिफुल एंटिक डिजाइनर मॉडल पीस विच इज़ वेरी परफेक्ट फॉर ऑल पार्टीज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर अपडेट्स क्लिक ऑन द बेल बटन फॉर नोटिफिकेशंस दिस नेकलेस इज सिंपल टू मेक एंड वेरी एलिगेंट टू प्रिपेयर इट ऑल द मेटीरियल्स यूज हेयर और एंटिक मेटीरियल्स रैपड सिल्क थ्रेड बीट्स ग्लू एंटिक बॉल्स a uh, small back a uh, small rounds a uh, small flower lockets for decoration top and bottom part of the beads that is antique ones wires hook and beads jump ring the leaf shape antique locket glue and cutter insert the wire inside the leaf shape locket Insert the green color wrapped silk thread bead on either sides of the beautiful leaf locket which is antique one. Next to it insert a round bead followed by the flower locket followed by the round antique bead and again followed by the silk thread bead followed by the antique bead followed by the bigger antique stylish designer bead followed by the plain antique bead and now i'm just going to put the bead caps bead caps for the cream color one if you notice i have put bead caps on either sides for the cream color one followed by the regular bead antique bead followed by the designer antique bead and again followed by the regular bead followed by the end cap again followed by the cream color bead and again followed by the head cap again the normal bead followed by the silk thread bead cream color bead and again the normal bead this is going to be neck it's not going to be long necklace but a neck uh, neck to neck necklace so i'm just going to put 10 to 12 small antic beads at the back adjust these beads according to the size of the neck always measure the size of the neck before doing the necklace and if you are doing for someone right randomly just put a little length or a variable chain on the back that is an adjustable chain on the back now i have inserted the end bead end bead is nothing but the small bead followed by the jump ring now i'm just looping the jump ring through the end bead and making it into a loop pull this into four or five beads and then pull the loose side out so that it gets tightened after we press the end bead after we flatten the end bead right it gets tight the other side is not made so it's very easy to make this side tight insert the green color silk thread bead that is repeat the same procedure followed by the normal bead followed by the silk thread bead again followed by the flower bead followed by the normal bead followed by the silk thread bead the same process followed by the normal bead till the end whatever we have done the pattern on the other side right we are going to repeat the same pattern this is the antique designer bead again head caps for the cream color one when it has come to the end fill the equal number of small bead that you have filled on the other side based upon the neck length that you have measured in the start insert the end bead the small end bead followed by the locket that is the hook now flip the hook inside the end bead and then pass it on to 
four or five beads and tighten it on the other side. Nicely tighten. If you pull it on the loose side, right, it becomes tightened. Cut the extra portion out. Tightening to the maximum extent and cutting the extra portion of the wire out. Now tighten the end beads on both the sides by pressing it flat. Gently press it flat and it becomes flat and it gets tightened. We have not done on the other side so I am repeating the same process on the other side as well. The end bead is flattened. The beautiful necklace is ready. It's simple to make. It's very pretty if you wear it.